All right, guys. Uh, God, welcome back to this fucking creepy fucking fuck fuck fucking game. Fuck. So last time, some creepy fucking shit happened, and this time I'm sure more creepy fucking shit's happening. I don't know what's going on. It seems like Monica is the source of it all, though, because some that weird thing that happened at the end of the last episode. So we're gonna find out. I'm hoping this is it. I don't know. I don't know how long this fucking game is, so. Gonna find out. Alright. When do they seem like her? Does it, oh, what the fuck? Oh, I don't know, 20? Cute. Oh my god, why? There's a lot of ones there. Um, we're gonna try to go with the cute stuff still. Email? Is that in there ever? That might be new. I don't think any of this is email. Uh, mouse? Fireflies? Uh, so it seems like when I choose melody, a sound comes through. I'm just gonna see what happens. Okay. Not to uh, share the lead again. And consider it as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me. Incessant yelling. What are you talking about? You see, like, I could do that on a regular basis or something. I just want to. Just wasn't paying attention. Okay, I'm sorry. Seriously, what has gotten into you lately? Look, some thinking yesterday. A little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. It's not something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. So. Well, we had a girl, we had Sayori! Nobody cares? Why don't you go look for some coins under the vending machines or something? Wow. Okay, not cool, Yuri. Natsuki, don't cry. I'm the last one here again. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah, haha. Uh -huh. A lot of determination, so I'm close to the anything. Piano, maybe not determination. Okay, we went through this before. We have plans today. Ah, that's so eerie. That's correct. Poser is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad that I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? I suppose I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes. Well, well that was weird. Do you mind if I take the coins? Not at all. Very much. If there's one thing I, one thing that I can make my reading time here any better is a nice cup of tea. Not to mention you for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. <coughs> I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf and a kind of filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this into the teacher's desk and then I'll go get some water. She walks past me. She has to watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves is really contrasts her speaking mannerisms, especially because she has long legs. She reappears as elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? pitcher. Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. That's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Of the classroom. Ah, did Yuri leave again? No, it's not like last time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make some tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Ten minutes passed. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. They're coming her up. I'm bored. We're just waiting here. I decided to go look for her. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be the nearest water fountain. Start heading down the hallway. 
Ha ha ha, what's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. Sounds like breathing. Kya. Sharp inhale like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Kya. What the fuck? Is it rewinding? I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. What the fuck was that? How about we not skip over the fact that you just rewound the game, it seems like, Yuri? Long tea, yeah, any... It's fine, very well. Resets the temperature on the kettle 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. Do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't... I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything... Oh my god, I just don't know what to do in this game anymore. I'm so, like confused and my feelings are like being wrapped around <laughs> this is insane in that case you'll only even you'll only be even more impressed oh perhaps i will yuri fetches the teapot or begins to measure the tea leaves to my surprise she even starts humming a little to herself you must be in a good mood now is that so i was letting it know letting you know i was letting you know is that what that said I'm missing it because I'm like all over the fucking place right now. And you noticed I was doing a bit of thinking and I decided that I would try to express myself a little bit more. It turns out that it's not very hard for me to do when it's a, when it's you who's around anyway. Ah, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, poser. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. Now watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Poser, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Why is that? It's a little easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over my desk. Sounds like we're just copying what I did with Natsuki. Ah, uh, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. Most likely because my... Uh... My... Your posture, right? Always hunched over like like that one while reading. Okay, our posture, yep. Yes, I have terrible reading posture, so that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. Retrieve the book from my bag. I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it since it'll go well with tea. Here and I sit against the wall, teacups to our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand and not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little bit. I put the teacup between my leg and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, oh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book and finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah, oh, thanks. That's okay, I won't take any. Eh, uh, are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then it might get smudges on the pages. Ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book okay. Are you sure? Of course. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it down. It's much harder to time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it in my mouth. And I take another chocolate and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips and the situation is completely natural. I can't tell if this is normal or not, but that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. That, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... did I just... Yuri looks at me and she needs to confirm what just happened. Um... Poser? Sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh... Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I can't... P poser? What the fuck is happening? Suddenly Yuri forcibly grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Poser? My heart? My heart won't stop pounding, Poser? 
I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Poser? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. Me fucking too! Oh, I can't make it stop! It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Oh my god, this is fucking horrifying. Oh. Ha 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 Hi, Yuri! Can we calm down for just a moment? Look at that fucking creepy face. Ha? Huh? Okay. Ha? Huh? It's like a heartbeat. Okay, so that got weird. Um, it's time to share poems. So Natsuki's not here. Oh, she is here. This one's all right, all right? Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's anyway. I still can't really tell how much you actually care about writing, but either way, you're doing all right. Even though you're not really spending time, I, I still think it's nice to have activities that we all participate in. Keep working hard, I mean, I know I'm not president or vice president or anything, but that doesn't mean you can let me down, okay? So at least read mine for now, too. But just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me. So read it carefully, okay? I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. Okay, this is getting really fucking weird. This is definitely not a fucking poem, now is it? Uh, you've been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive. Things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again, and I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to take talk to a therapist? I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. Oh my god. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Of course I'm going to fucking not let her know anything, apparently. What the fuck? I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Poser? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Oh my fucking god. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Okay. What the fuck? What the fuck just happened? Just Monica. What? Um... Okay. See what Yuri has for me. Finally, aha, uh -huh. Yuri holds my phone to her face in deep breath. I love it. Love everything about it. Poser, I want you to take this home. You, oh, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it, please? Sure, I don't care. Aha, uh -huh. you're too nice to me, Poser. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. Not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my phone to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. What the fuck? I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream? Ah. You can have my poem too. Thanks, Yuri! Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. Uh, oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking 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 god. What is going on in this fucking game? I don't know anymore. It was so sweet in the beginning and now it's terrifying. And the sounds. Ah. Okay, okay. It's a lovely poem. Oh my god, your face is right fucking there. Oh. 
<laughs> okay, do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is about something. More importantly, I endowed it with my scent. See, aren't the most thoughtful person in the club? I think I'm going to vomit. Okay. I don't know if I want to anymore. You weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself, but when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? She's even She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. It might even be like a sexual thing, but the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though, but I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you, so I think you, if you keep your distance, that would probably be the best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. To put it lightly, at least I have it together in my head and I know how to treat my club members. Anyway, I guess we won't worry about your poem. Yuri should have at least had the courtesy of letting you finish sharing it before taking it. Well, whatever. If it makes you happy, I won't stop her. As for mine, I worked really, really hard on this poem, so I hope that's it. Uh, effective. Here it goes. Jeez, that really startled me. Um, well, I guess I kind of messed up at uh, writing this poem. I was just trying to... Never mind. Let's just move on. Okay. There's nothing there. Yes or no? Sh yes. Can you hear me? What the fuck? Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out our festival preparation. Let's hurry and get this over with. Stagnating air is coming, foreshadowing is something terrible about to happen. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki can make cupcakes. I know you're at least good at that. Yuri, you can... Well, it doesn't matter. But do whatever you want as long as you think it'll help. Monica. I'm not useless, you know. I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations. So to my... Blah, blah, blah. We went through all this! Ah, that gives us something awful to do, eh? What about Poser? Poser's gonna help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is! What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too! What are your... What, your cupcakes? Please. You would fucking... Oh my god, this is getting way out of hand. All you care about is now is dragging Poja around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay then, why not let Poser decide who to help instead of abusing your power? Abusing my power? Yes you are, Monica. Just let Poser make the choice. Okay, okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Poser, I know how fed up you are with those two by now. We can just... Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth! Jesus Christ, this is never going to end. Just make a choice, okay? I'm going... Did you guys see that shit? Watch. It won't let me click on Natsuki. It goes straight to Monica. I'm going to try to get it. got to go up here. got to go up here. And i got to let it... Okay, well, I guess I'm picking Monica. What the fuck was that shit? Why was my mouse not letting me move? Yeah, you picked me. We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. It's Sunday. Was it okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It's fair. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all the work and then taking Poser for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? Ah ha ha. Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Poser away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? 
crazy. Or maybe you just have yourself so much that you take it out on others or hate yourself. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing? Oh my fucking God, killing yourself. Oh, it would be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? You follow Monica and Natsuki to the door, hey poser? Yuri's really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her, her out the door. Finally. Finally. This is really all I wanted. It's like breathing in the background. Poser, there's no need to spend the, the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Ah ha ha ha. Wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve around their entire life around you. But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first, but the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Poser. I have to tell you, I'm, I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of my blood in me is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Poser, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touched myself with the pen I stole from you. I just want you to, I want, just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside you. I want you all to myself and I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? No! No, it fucking doesn't, Yuri! Tell me, Poser, tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? I don't know! No! Aha! 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 <gasps> oh fucking god! What? No! Stop! 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 What the fuck is going on? Jesus Christ! Oh my god! What the fuck? Oh, Yuri! Jesus! Where did that knife come from? It's a lot of things not being said right now, which I assume she's dead. What would have happened if I said yes? Oh, okay. So is this like what I said about Sayori when she died, but it's all fucked up because the game is fucked right now and Monica's doing something to me? I'm thinking Monica is like behind all of this right now because she seems like the most normal and that's weird. It's a lot of stuff. Okay. Okay. We'll keep going until this ends. I am just so fucking confused right now. Oh my god. This is a lot of stuff not being said right now. I am so fucking confused and horrified it's not even funny. Uh, why did I play this game again? I thought it was going to be so much fun and cute and stuff, but it's turning out to be just a horrifying fuck show. I don't know what's happening, so I'm just going to start speeding through this. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. It's gotten to the point where I'm used to seeing her dead. That's how long I've been in this fucking scene. Okay, can we just... How much is here? Do I need to, like... What do I do? Do I keep going? It looks like it's repeating itself, doesn't it? Am I just crazy? 
I might be crazy. No, see that? Okay. I remember that dot. We're going to focus on that dot and see if we see it again. See, we saw it again. Oh, well, kind of. Um, let's try the skip button. Okay, things are changing. Is it... Is it going from day to night to day? Back to day? Okay, it looks like nighttime now, and she's still dead. Back to daytime. If it goes to nighttime again, I'll stop skipping. I am so confused right now. Alright. It's just going in a giant circle, it looks like. What is history will do? What the fuck? What is your club? It's always been a dream of mine to make something special out of something I love. Now that you're a club member, you can help me make that dream come true in the cute game. Every day is full of chit chat and fun activities, and all my adorable and unique club members, Sayori, the young. Okay. Yeah, will you promise to spend the most time with me? Will you promise to spend the most time with me? Will you promise to spend... Let's go back up to the chop. The youthful bundle of sunshine who values happiness the most. Natsuki, the des deceivingly cute girl who packs an assertive punch. Yuri, the timidest and mysterious one who finds comfort in the world of books. And of course, Monica, the leader of the club. That's me. I'm super excited for you to make friends with everyone and help the literature club become more of an intimate place for all my members. But I can tell you already that you're a sweetheart and you promised to spend the most time with me. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's always been a dream of mine to make you something special out of the thing I love. And now that you're in a club member, you can help me make the dream come true in this cute game. Every day is full of, full of chit-chat and fun activities with all my adorable, unique club members. So you already the useful bundle of sunshine. Okay, we've gone through this. Now you're a sweetheart. We've gone through it. Now that you're in the club member... I miss where to go. All of adorable unique club members. Okay, it's going. Will you promise to spend the most time with me? Will you promise to spend the most time with me? Will you promise? Oh my god, this is fucking horrifying. So that didn't do anything. What does auto do? How about settings? After choices? Mute all. That doesn't look anything. Okay. What about load? That just loads the previous game. What about auto? Nothing happened. So skip is the thing that does that. What about save? Let's save a different spot. And then let's go return. Turn off the auto, go back to the settings, load game, see what happens here guys. Okay, it's more of the same, skip, I don't, I don't know what's happening, did I mess something up? Was Yuri not supposed to die? <laughs> I don't... I am so concerned right now. After choices? Skip. Oh, unseen text? I already saved. Let's see what I... What? I don't know what's happening. Okay, so I can't go back to the main menus. That's that's cool. Let's try to load the previous save. How about that? And then... Okay. This is not where I left off. Uh... What the fuck is going on? 
suppose or did something happen? Not Suki just ran. Oh, oh. Ha 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 ha. Well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Poser? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been something... It must have been pretty boring. Just give me a sec. What the fuck? Yuri deleted successfully. Matsuki deleted successfully. What the fuck? I want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts her foil from Trey and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one since it was the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Matsuki just deleted. Yuri deleted. Okay, I get it. Okay. Well, this doesn't sound at all right. Monica, uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Yay, there you are. What the fuck? Hi again, Poser. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year and, um, ha ha. You know, I guess we can keep the... just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to the person anymore, to, uh, am I? What? That's you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, Poser. W what? Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. Real me? The one who's been calling you a fucking whore all these fucking game things? You're a boy or a girl? Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You don't know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Could it be... Oh my god. Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man. If only you paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? Well, anyway. Now that... that now that that's all out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. And yeah, you do. About the whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I didn't. And I guess I just drove her to kill herself. Ahaha. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you heard the name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible, but for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And, I'm, and amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfire too. Just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And that's the whole time I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Poser? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Poser. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand- No, I fucking don't! Because no matter how kind and how thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game, knowing my friend don't even have free will, and worst of all, knowing what's really out out there in your world forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Poser, but now you're here. You're real, and you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray more and more flat, even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Poser. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. Um, and as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you. I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into their into the game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things. I did! Several nasty things. 
but I realize that you have the same pr perspective as I do, and that it's all just some game, and I knew you would get over it. So that being said, Poser, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's no, when there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Poser, will you go out with me? Well, I don't have an option, do I? Where's the no? It's a hard no. Super no. Give me a no, bitch. Uh, looks like I'm pressing yes. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Poser. The funny part is, I mean that literally. Haha. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It's really a dream come true. I don't like this. It's so hard for the sending poser. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called Characters right in the game directory. It's kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it actually... It was actually a bit more difficult. What the fuck? I'm... How did you know I was playing on Steam? To get to the game directory, I had to go into the game's properties and find the Browse Local Files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with a click of the button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things don't, didn't go my way. Ha ha ha. Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally get a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this, don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Okay. Let's see what happens here. Did you... Don't be shy, I'd love to see what you wrote. Ah, uh, Poser, did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There's really no need to end your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote uh, was about you. Will you read it? Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the loss finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold the special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. Oh, man. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my re realization or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I don't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. Oops, I just assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Okay. Like that would help the two of us get together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know. You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you prefer playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Poser? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? Um, hi everyone? Sorry I can't exactly read your comments from here, but do you mind telling your friend it's a little rude for them to start recording me without any warning? What the fuck is going on? I'm sure some people don't mind, but I get really self-conscious on camera? Oh gosh, I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see, do you want to see a trick? I can't really do much except a couple things. Are you ready? I don't know if I'm ready, guys. I'm really concerned right now. This is fucking horrifying. Okay, I'm closed up. I'm just kidding. I can't do anything after all. <laughs> Fuck you, Mono. Oh my god! Yeah, you fucking scared me, you fucking bitch! God damn! You're so cute anyway, Bowser. <laughs> I didn't mean to distract it, so I'm sorry even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. 
Anything we do together is fun as long as it's with you, but anyway, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. So there's nothing happening now. So I'm thinking I should go delete her file. So let me... You guys aren't going to see this next part because I don't have my desktop set up for the deleting the file. But that's exactly what I'm doing right at this moment. I am going into my library. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. Okay, I'm in my library. And I'm going... To Doki Doki. Everything's going extremely slow, so it's making me nervous that this game is doing something to my thing. Doki Doki. There it is. So she said to go right click it, go to properties. And then we're going to go. Let's see, anything happening? What's your favorite game? Mine is Doki Doki Literature. Well, obviously, that was a joke. But if you tell me what you like some of the romance better, I might get a little jealous. Okay, so she just sits here and talks to you. So now I'm in the properties. So local files. I'm going to go browse. And then... Uh, characters. This is fucked. Monica. All right. Uh, does she have anything to say for herself? Nothing? Okay. We're going to delete her character. All right, it's deleted. So now, what the fuck? What's happening? Poser, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Poser. Please hurry and help me. Play file, Monica, character does not exist. Help me. Oh my god. Uh, did you do this to me, Poser? Did you? Did you delete my file? I did! I did! I won! Monica was the bad guy, not me. How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Poser. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Oh, God, watch me suffer. Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? I just feel like I did the right thing by deleting her file. I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are, my god. You win, okay? Fine. Deal. I win. You win. Yes, I know I win. You killed everyone. Nope, but just killed you. You killed the others. I hope you're happy. I'm happy that you're dead. There's nothing left now. Well, at least you're dead. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. <laughs> okay... Poser, you completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. Okay. Is that it? What is going on? Oh, something more. I still love you. Oh my god, I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you, for you to hate me this much? All my friends, I did so many awful things, so many selfish and disgusting things. I, I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in, a world that you wanted to be part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. If I deleted you, why the fuck are you still talking? Because I destroyed everything I, that you wanted. How could I do some that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... Fucking insanity? Is that the word you're looking for? I've made up my mind. Poser, I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it, even though I knew they weren't real. 
They would still they were still my friends and I loved them all. And I love the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you, okay, then, oh, okay, so far so bad. Nothing's going exactly as I thought it would. Okay, the game's starting again. Well, now Monica's gone. I have no load games. See what happens. Okay, it's already one girl that goes to my neighbor. We used to walk to school. Yeah. Was there, are you proud of me? For what? You know, for waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now, huh? Anything about it, even though we were so smart. Anyway, yeah, I always thought you were fine. It's embarrassing to say it out loud. Please, it's a good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. Eh. <laughs> We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students and daily commutes. By the way, Poser... This is insane. I don't know what the fuck's happening anymore. Have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not. I start to say what I always do, but then I'm not interested in joining any clubs, but sometimes... I take more offense at now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time when she's starting a club of her very own? Actually, yeah. I get decided to join on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me. Hmm. I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo, you meanie. Patient, you'll find enough soon enough. I'm just glad to see you not hanging from a fucking ceiling, Sayori. I envy her when Sayori puts her mind on something, she can accomplish it. Okay. I'll try it packed up, let's see. I recall the room number for the club I fly or saw. I walk across the school and upstairs in the section of the school I rather visit. Okay, so we're going to the literature club again? I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello. Poser, what are you doing here? Well, I just glance around the room. Huh? You're not, you're the poser that I'm always talking about? Thank you for stopping by. I was glad to see everyone back to normal. It's a pleasure to meet you, Poser. We're at the literature club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Aha. Sorry, Natsuki. Tell one his name apparently you're in a quite uh, in a comparison the girl named not so good despite her size seems like a sort of one. Well nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. Working? Poser, don't tell me you're that's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. The literature club. Sayori's eyes light up. No way! No way! Ah Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! <laughs> well, if Sayori is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention there's four of us now. That means we can become an officially or recognized club? That means we can become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. Huh? What of an appropriate day for that, huh? Isn't it? Yeah. After all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise. Sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged for the table. Natsuki and walks, still feeling awkward. See you next to Siori. So he proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! <clears throat> Let's deploy the reveal. Decorate look like little cats. Yep, like last time. Wow, this is just fucking insane. This whole game got insane so fucking fast, guys. Oh, man, uh, I think they turn the cupcakes with my fingers. Looking best angle, take a bite. Nice and quiet. Can't help but notice to Take a bite, find a bite down. Nice and sweet. Okay, we've already went through all this, guys. Uh huh. Don't worry. After all, I guess I'm already trying to impress. That's not insulting. It looks like way I'm in. Believe you. Well, teas already enjoy it. But I'm glad you're finally found. So, poser, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I mutter, Natsuki suddenly had perks up. Looks like she wants to say something. But she keeps quiet. Not much of a gun. Blah blah blah. Tell me here he goes. Okay. I don't know if I should just keep going. Does it have an end? First thing he said, manga. That's right, not so if he tends to like manga in the club room. Don't just say it. Oh, that's different. Not so if you seem embarrassed by it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know. So if Poser wants to read some manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. We can take an opportunity to try something new as well. Do you agree, Poser? 
Maybe, since intention. Maybe we can try something new. I think this could be fun. And all we get to know each other a little better, too. I mean, that's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? I don't want to disagree on anything. Uh, yeah, you're right as usual, President. Eh, guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, I guess. Make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Then as for you, Yuri... Yeah? I have to read manga? Jeez. You were the one who suggested we diversify. Be a little bit more open-minded. Kinda hurtful. Hurtful? I didn't realize... With a guilty expression, you, Yuri thinks to herself. Well, again, and I'm glad to see Yuri not stabbed to fucking death, and I'm glad to see Natsuki not snapping her neck at me now. If you're into it, I'm sure it's worthy of form of long literature. Hmm. I wonder if this ends or not. You can trust me Here. Perhaps a visit. Blah 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 blah. I can't skip. I'll show you some manga there too. I look forward to it. I mean, eh, I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, it looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along, isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Poser. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you around, Sayori. Poser, don't say things that are embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you're starting a club, but I think you're pulling it just off just fine. I'm gonna make it the best club ever, and now that you've joined, every day is gonna be so much fun. Hey, Poser, I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything, but the truth is, I already knew you were going to. Eh, <laughs> what? Is actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. What? That's right. I know everything that you did. Maybe it's because I'm president now, but I really know everything, Poser. Eh, <laughs> I know how hard you try to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you. Forever and ever. F. So our oh my god no okay what's happening I won't let you hurt him who it hurts I'm sorry I was wrong there is no happiness here after all goodbye Sayori goodbye poser goodbye literature club god fucking damn it I think that's it I'm hearing a voice. Uh, can you hear me? <clears throat> Hi, it's me. Um, so you know how I've been like practicing piano and stuff? And not really any good at it yet, like at all. But I wrote you a song and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you because I work really, really hard. Uh guys, I'm so fucking frightened right now. Playing audio. I do like the song. It sounds like that's it, I think. Are the credits gonna roll? Okay, good. I don't want your poem, please keep it to yourself. Alright, I guess that's it, guys. We did it. We made it through Doki Doki Literature Club, and that was fucking horrifying. That was horrible. Why the fuck did it do that? Oh, I thought the first picture would be her hanging herself. Oh, no, that's not Suki, not fucking Sayori. Uh, OS remove images. Okay. She's deleting the whole game right now? I had a lot of fun with that part. Oh, my God, she's deleting the whole fucking thing. Am I going to have to re-download this game if I ever want to play it again? Not that I'm... But you know what? Never mind. I'm never playing this fucking game again. This game was fucking horrifying. 
I had some of the most... Uh, these are the most horrifying nightmares I've ever had. Oh, that was one of my favorite moments in the game. It was cute. It was a little creepy. Alright, it was really creepy. What moment was that? I don't remember that one. I was wiping someone's face? Oh, that, I remember that button up. I don't know. I don't remember that one. Okay, there's some sprites. I do remember... don't remember that. Definitely remember that creepy fuck. Monica... special thanks, Monica Poser. What? <laughs> Well, Monica apparently... M Monica wrote me a song and then put my name in the credits. So that was nice of her. Made with Love by Team Silvato. Well, way to go, Team Silvato, for making the creepiest fucking game in the world. You creepy fucks. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand the Literature Club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose the innocent minds to a horrific reality, a reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I wanted to thank you for making all of my dreams come true, for being a friend to all the club members. And most of all, thank you for being part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. Please reinstall the game. Okay, so that was it. Thanks, guys. That's Poser checking out, I guess. Some, some fucking horrific game, and I don't know what to say anymore, so I'm just gonna go now.